Alright, in this video I want to teach you how to make a custom death screen in Roblox Studio that pops up whenever the player dies with a random message each time. Or it can be just the same message every time, up to you. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to have a script that whenever it notices the player dies, it puts up this death screen for a certain amount of seconds with a message on the screen. So, the first thing we want to do is make the death screen itself. So, in start GUI, I'm just going to click the plus and insert a screen GUI. Now, very important in this screen GUI, you want to make sure reset and spawn is off. And I'm just going to call this screen GUI death GUI. And we are also going to turn on ignore GUI inset. And I'm just going to change the display order to 10. This should make it like appear all over the top of all of your other GUIs. Right, so now in here, I'm going to click the plus and add a frame. And then I'm going to make this frame cover the entire screen. So how I can do that is change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. And there you go, it's covering the entire screen. I'm just going to change the background color to black. And I'm just going to make it transparent by making the background transparency 0.7. Right. So now in this frame, I'm also going to add a text label. And in this text label, I'm going to change the size to 1, 0. I want 0, 0.2, 0. And I'm going to make the background transparency 1. I am going to uh, turn on text scaled. And I'm just going to change the font to whatever I want it to be. And then I'm just going to put this label in the center of our screen. And now I am just going to change the text to just say death screen for now. Uh, this will be updated whenever the player dies. So now I'm just going to turn the visibility of this frame off so you can't see it when you join the game. And then in this death GUI, I'm going to click the plus and insert a local script. Right, now I'm just uh, going to change the name of this local script to death screen script. So we know what it does. And then I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So, first of all, I want a variable for the frame itself. So, local frame equals script.parent.frame. And local message label equals frame.text label. This is what we're going to be using to display our death message. And now I'm going to make a table with all of our different death messages. So, how you can do that is just say local messages equals and then these brackets for a table. And then just press enter to open up our table. And then I'm going to add some speech marks. And we can now type in our death messages. So you can add as many as you like. If you only add one, it'll just mean it's the same message each time. But you can add as many as you like. So, for example, I could just change it to you died. Aha, you're dead. Better luck next time. Perhaps you should quit. You're bad. Right, so now I've added some messages here. You want to separate each one with a comma. And make sure they are all inside these little speech marks here that makes them a string. And now we've got our messages, we want to make a variable for our player, so local PLR equals game.players.localPlayer. And first of all, we want to check if we've already got a character. So if player got character, then when the player dies, make the death screen. But then we're also going to add player got character added colon connect function jar. Right, so now I'm going to make a function to deal with our character, so function show death screen and a pair of brackets open up that i'll uh, just to zoom out a bit so you can see what i'm doing right and now in here we're going to say we're going to take in these brackets we're going to take the character and then we're going to say char.humanoid dot changed colon connect function and then we're going to say char.humanoid dot health is less than or equal to zero then we're going to say print player died just so we know that we are going to show the death screen and then we, first of all we want to choose a random message so local random message equals and then we're going to say messages and then pair of square bracket and then in these square brackets we're going to do math dot random and a pair of brackets and then one and then comma and then the hash symbol and then messages here so what this is doing is it's going into our messages thing and it's saying find the message that is of number between one and the total number of messages so for example if this generated the number two it would use aha you're dead but if it used four it would go to perhaps you should quit right so now we've got our random message we're going to change the text to our random message so message label dot text equals random message and then we're going to do frame dot visible equals true and now we want to wait the number of seconds it's going to take for the player to uh, become alive again so for the player to respawn so to find that number you want to go into your players in explorer and you want to find the respawn time so for me that's just three so i'm just going to say wait and then pair of brackets and then three and then frame dot visible equals false right so now we want to call this function here and here 
So if there's already a player character, then we want to deal with the death screen, the played up character, and then when the new character is added, we again show the death screen when they die. So in this one you want to put player.character and in this one you want to put char. So that is the entire script done. We can now play our game to see if it works. So I'll just click the play button. And then oh it says humanoid is not a valid member of model workspace.squiddings. So because we've got this issue what we're gonna do is first line of the function we're gonna say repeat wait pair of brackets until char colon find first child humanoid and now we can go ahead and test our game again. And this time, you can see, if I reset my character, it will give me a random message on our death screen. And that will disappear when we respawn, but just to show you that it is indeed working, I'll uh, reset again. Oh, got the same message again. Reset again. There we go. Now we've got a different message. And yeah, so each time we die, we should get a random message. So that was how you can make a death screen with a random message each time in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.